Welcome to the Formlabs User Summit 2021. My name is Jokis Neyman, and I'll talk a bit about what I do, which is using 3D printing for the film and entertainment industry. I mostly do prosthetic makeups, but that also extends into advanced uh, props or specialized props and all kinds of strange things used in the film and TV industry. Um, I'm going to go through some of the stuff I did for Race by Wolves and uh, a quick preview of some of the things we did for season two of Race by Wolves. Um, I'll start with this picture of our setup at the moment. It's um, four Form 3Ls, which is an amazing thing to have available to use in the workshop. We uh, Our workshop basically moves from production to production uh, and set up a workshop close to or near where we're filming so that uh, we have quick access to the set and have the whole creative team as close together as possible. So start with this uh, prosthetic that we made for season one of Race by Wolves, which is an Android mask. Uh, it's, it basically started as a concept design from Firio Tedeschi on the left. And from there, we live cast an actor, did a 3D scan and sculpted the, uh, the skull mask onto the 3D scan using ZBrush. I mostly use ZBrush for all my design work as it's a very organic way to sculpt things quite close to how you would do it in real life. It also helps knowing how to do it in real life first before you get to all this uh, digital stuff. Uh, the digital stuff ends up being a tool that allows you to do things quicker sometimes and more efficiently. So this mask was printed on the Form 2 in about seven or eight pieces because of the build volume. Uh, we, we used a bank of probably about six Form 2s on this job to get all the, all the work done. But now with the Form 3L, we could just print this whole thing out in one go, which is amazing. Um, this is another thing we built for season one of Rest by Wolves, which is an operation of Mother, where you see different layers of her Android body. And the final layer in this was printed with elastic resin, which is really cool stuff. It's uh, we were able to use the print straight off of the printer on the actress and it's flexible and moves with the body. It's really nice stuff to use. This is an Android skull that was printed with clear resin all in form two as well. And it's really nice to be able to print it, take it off the printer and use it straight onto your prop. In, in the past for clear plastics, we would have to make clay sculptures and silicon molds and all kinds of things. And now you can just actually print things and use them, which is awesome. So for Race by World Season 2, I'm not allowed to show anything that's going to give anything away, but I can show some of our processes uh, without showing any of the final things. So here are some pictures of me using the Form 2, I mean the Form 3L. On the left there are... Uh, texture tiles, which is a really cool thing to do if you need to make textures on big clay sculptures or silicon sculptures. So you basically just print out your texture tiles and you have textures available to use on anything you're making. Um, this is also really cool. It's a scan we did of uh, our actress who plays mother. Her name is Amanda. And uh, we did a scan of her and cleaned up the scan, got it print ready. I printed it with draft resin overnight. And the next day we had the 3D print ready to use on a dummy that was needed in the background for a shot. And it worked perfectly. In this picture, we see experiments with shapes. Uh, it's just these crazy shapes uh, that you're able to print which is going to be really hard to do in any other way. Um, in this slide, I'm printing 
a figurine uh, in high detail in uh, dental model resin. And the whole figurine is just printing out in one go. And it's amazing. The, the detail you get with the, the model dental resin is just something else. Here are some more sci-fi model parts printing. And in this image, I'm experimenting with a new workflow where we basically 3D print prosthetic molds. So it's a complete digital process from 3D scanning the actor to digitally sculpting the prosthetic appliance, 3D printing the mold, and then casting it in gel filled silicon, which can then be directly applied to the actor. The cool thing with this is that you can print multiple molds if you need more than one. Or if the mold breaks, you can just print out a new one. Or if you have slight adjustments, you just kind of do it on the fly and print out your new mold and it's ready to go the following day. So it, it, the thing with this is that um, the production company kind of sees the speed that you're able to do prototyping and they will start expecting it all the time. But it still requires quite a bit of R&D and um, enough time to to work properly before you offer it up. I think that's about it for now. Um, I look forward to sharing more of the awesome things we made for Race Bubble Season 2. It should be released ne early next year. And after that, uh, I can hopefully share some more of our processes. Thank you very much.